na yung bagla aldaw kada kayo amin. Nga regsaknak tada kayo manin nga dumdumgeng kay nagwibuya, iti lesson tayo itanga aldaw. But wait, do you know what language I was speaking? That's right, I just used the Ilocanus language called Iloco. What if you see local languages in an English story? How do you think will it be like? Will it be effective or not? Let's find it out for today's episode. Good day everyone! I am Sir Lau Pasqua and welcome to English with Sir Lau. The literature we'll have today is a short story written during the American colonial period in our country. This is entitled, How My Brother Leon Brought Home a Wife, and this is written by Manuel Argilia. The story was set at Nagrebkan La Union sometime in the 1940s. Though it is a Philippine literature written in English, some words used in the narration are in local language which is Iloko. Now, let's get to know the characters in the story. First is Baldo. Baldo is the younger brother of Leon and the one narrating in the story. Second is Leon. Leon is the older brother who goes back to the province from Manila to introduce his wife to his family. He is also called Noel in the story and it is a backward reading of his name. Maria is the wife of Leon from Ermita, Manila. She is a city girl yet appreciative and nice to life in the province. And the father who challenged Maria's way to his home. His leg was injured during the Revolutionary War. And mother, a typical Ilocana, Kasselin, the Caritella driver, Aurelia, their sister, and Labang, the Carabao. And here is the story. The story started when Baldo met his older brother and his wife Maria at the edge of Nagrebkan La Union. Kasselin drove them with a calesa from the terminal. As Baldo saw his manu's wife, he described her as lovely, tall, and beautiful. In her is reflected a woman who, though described as civilized, still shows the values atypical of a maiden in ancient times. You are Baldo, and this must be Labang, whom I hurt so much. You may scratch his forehead now. Maria hesitantly touched Labang's head and scratched it daintily. While Leon pays Caseline, Baldo is captured by the beauty of Maria. Baldo heard his brother Leon call Maria by her name. For Baldo, the name Maria will also be how they will call her, not Maring not Maya. But Baldo was quite confused when he heard Maria answer Leon by the name Noel. He thought that their father would not like it, but for him, the name Noel sounds better. Baldo also saw how the two are deeply in love. Meanwhile, Labang made a loud sound that made Maria amazed. Then Maria asked, Why does he make that sound? There is no other like it. It's the only bull who does that sound. If you continue to talk about him like that, either I shall fall in love with him or become greatly jealous. Upon their journey to their home, Leon is wondering why Baldo drove them to the Waig instead of the Camino Real. It was Father Mano. He told me to drive at Waig instead of the plain Camino Real. The Waig route served as test to Maria if she can live in the province which differs a lot from the city where she lived in. But then it seems like Maria likes Leon's province. She described this as beautiful, fresh air, clean, and free of dust. Baldo even described the beauty that they saw while traversing the Wai. He mentioned how the Katayagan Hills formed a silhouette while the sun set, how the crickets cheered, how the Dangla and Arra'is roots smelled. Look! There's our star, Noel! I have been looking at it. Do you remember how I would tell you that when you want to see stars, you must come to Nagrebkan? Yes, Noel. 
Look at it! It's so many times bigger and brighter than it was at Ermita Beach. It was already dark and Baldo lighted the lamp. They saw the under the sea and Arais along the Waig. And then, Leon suddenly sang a song with Maria. Have we far to go yet, Noel? Soon we will get out of the Waig and pass into the fields. After the fields is our home, Manong. Then the Camino Real curves around the foot of the Katayagan Hills and passes by our house. And I'll ask Father why we drove through the Waig. Noel, do you think he will like me? Does that worry you still, Maria? Father is the gentlest man I know. While continuing their journey, Maria was worried if Leon's father and family would like her. When they arrived home, mother was smiling shyly on the doorway. Leon immediately asked her mother, Where is Tatang Nanang? He is at his room upstairs. His leg is bothering him again. Father was in his room smoking his tobacco in the window. He talked to Baldo asking what happened during their travel. Did you meet anybody on the way? No, father. Nobody passes through the Waig at night. She is very beautiful, father. Was she afraid of Labang? No, father. She was not afraid. She looked at the stars, father, and Manong Leon sang. What did he sing? Sky sown with stars. She sang with him, father. Father was silent again. Baldo could hear the low voices of mother and his sister Aurelia downstairs. While Baldo and father were in the dark and smoky room, the door opened and Leon and Maria came in. So, father suddenly changed the topic and told him to let the bang drink water. What can you say about how Leon brought home Maria? And why do you think Father told Baldo to cross the rocky Waig instead of the Camino Real? Do you think Father doesn't like Maria? I want to know your answer. You may just comment it down here and we can have some more discussion about the story. I am Sir Lau Pasqua. Thank you for listening and see you the next episode.